What's up my dudes? I've got a special Halloween themed outfit video for you all today featuring some of the various hats that are available in game as well as two special outfits I created that I think you're going to enjoy. It's been a while since I posted a video and the reason for that is because I've been quite busy with work and other various things but I'm back and ready to keep creating. So let's get it rolling my dudes. The first outfit is kind of a meme outfit if I'm being honest. The outfit is Rock Lee from Naruto, and it looks absolutely terrifying, but I think that's what makes it so great. This really is the last guy you'd want beating you to the curb because, well, that would be just embarrassing. I had to create a new character for this, and sadly, there's no full bowl cut. So I had to go with this hair, which is close enough, but quite disappointing. I mean, come on. Can't there just be a normal bowl cut in the game? Now, for the outfit. Both of the head and shoulders will be hidden. The arms are going to be the Imperial Gloves 2. The legs are going to be the Red Guard Breaches 1. The chest is going to be the Assassin's League Jerkin. The belt is the Red Guard Sash 1. The legs are going to be the Dreadhorn Sabatons. The dyes you'll be using are Full Marble White on the gloves, Full Vine Green on the legs, Full Vine Green on the chest, Full Putrid Flesh Teal on the waist, and Bloodroot Wine on the legs. I promise that's all the meme outfits for this video. The rest are actually pretty cool. But maybe you like this if you're a Rock Lee fan, I don't know. The second outfit is the Scarecrow. This is quite cool because I could never find anything that looked good with this mask, so I decided to make an outfit to work with it, and it turned out pretty good. For this outfit, you will need the Thicket Man Spectre Mask Unlocked, which can be acquired from the Witch's Grab Bag during the Witch's Festival. For the rest of the outfit, the shoulders are the Elder Tide Epaulets. The gloves are the Khajiit Gloves 1. The legs are the Prisoner's Trousers 1. The chest is the Witch Mother's Servant Jerkin, the waist is the Argonian Sash 1, and the boots are the Wood Elf Shoes 1. For the weapon, I recommend using something that is wooden, such as the Argonian or Nord Staff. The entire set will be dyed in the Centurion Metal dye because it blends extremely well with the color of the hat part. And now, you can go stand in crop fields for hours on end waiting to scare birds away. Congrats. The next outfit makes usage of the Hollow Jack Spectre Mask, so you will need to have that head to make this outfit. This outfit really has an ominous horror appeal, so if that's what you're going for, this will do it. For the rest of this outfit, you're going to want the Nord Apollets 1 on the shoulders, the Mercenary Gloves on the arms, the Imperial Breaches 4 on the legs, the High Elf Jerkin 1 on the chest, the Blood Forge Sash on the waist, the Sapiarch's Boots on the feet, and for my character, I use Sword and Shield, and I think the Barbaric Shield 2 and Horn Dragon Axe go very well with the outfit. The entire outfit will be dyed in Cold Harbor Ash Black to really put some emphasis on the head. I really like this outfit, and it shows best at night when you can see the glow from the mask, making it easily seen. The next outfit makes use of the Werewolf Hunter hat and any dark face paint that you may like. I personally like equipping the Nightmare Nest face paint, but it really just depends on what you have available. For the outfit, the shoulder is going to be the High Elf Epaulets 4. The gloves are going to be the Dark Elf Gloves 2. The legs are not going to matter as they're completely hidden by this outfit. The chest is the Dark Elf Robe 4. The waist is the Dremora Sash, and the boots are going to be the Breton Shoes 1. For the weapons, I recommend using a combination of the dyes, Blade Master's Mauve, Warrior's Steel, and Cold Harbor Ash Black, depending on what weapons you're using. The die layout for the armor can be seen here, and it is using Warrior's Steel and Cold Harbor Black Ash, and there's one single slot of Blade Master's Mauve on the shoulders to get that gem on the chest. This outfit's pretty cool, but I personally prefer something big and epic looking. Where this is more of a stylish outfit, but maybe some of you all will enjoy it. 
I had fun making it, but it's not something I'd play the game myself in. Now, for the last outfit of the video. I made it a mix between a wolfman, samurai, and a general type look, and I think it's freaking awesome, my dudes. I would totally wear this outfit while playing. It's definitely my style. For the head, we're using the Fire Song Helm. The shoulder is going to be the Wayward Guardian Epaulets. The gloves are going to be the Dragon Guard Gauntlets. The legs are going to be the Ragada Breeches. The chest is going to be the Moongrave Fane Jerkin. The waist is going to be the Khajiit Girdle 4. The boots are going to be the Huntsman Boots. Again, the weapon depends on what you use, but I recommend keeping the dies in line with the outfit. The dies we are using are Warrior's Steel and Marble White. Feel free to pause the video here to copy the layout. And that's all the outfits I have for this Halloween themed outfit video. If you enjoyed them, please leave a like and subscribe, it would mean the world to me. I'd really like to reach my goal of a thousand subs by the end of the year, and you could totally be one of the dudes to help me get there. As always, I'll see you in the next one my dudes, and have a happy Halloween.